Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Day. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm exploring using one of the big silicone molds to create my own bowl with resin. So you'll see me having a lot of fun um, trying to understand how to fill this big mold. FYI, it took a lot more resin than I thought it would do. And uh, there were some wins and there were some fails. So for me, this one's a middle of the road, uh, a sort of fun like that. There's bits like that, bits like that, worked out like that. Uh, the principle was really great. The learning process was wonderful and there's some special effects and I am happy with the overall end result. However, the silicone mold that I used, Try another one, <laughs> uh, but I will keep hunting, but I do like the concept of creating art in different forms. So thank you for spending your time with me. I hope that you enjoy this and I hope you learn along the way. And uh, remember, thumbs up, subscribe and share and comments are always welcome. And I'll see you on the next video. So have the most amazing week and remember to be creative. Hey, welcome back. I'll do my best to talk through a little bit of what I'm doing. My workstation is a little bit messy. I've been working on lots of little projects with silicone mold. So I've got that apology out of the way now. I'd like to say thank you uh, for watching. And I hope that you find some value in this, even if this is not your type of thing. So I found uh, quite a few molds that I'm testing out. And this one was originally an ashtray, but I would never use it for an ashtray. I'm not a smoker and I don't think there's many people out there that would use ashtrays now. But I thought that I'd be able to use this as a little dish myself. And uh, it took me a while to get my head around because you have to work in reverse with this. So I'm really just having fun, learning along the way, adding a few little um, different embellishments along the way and seeing if I do different layers uh, using different processes, what's going to be the end result and how is that going to look. So I had to keep reminding myself to um, work from the bottom up and try and visualize what it was. The thing that concerned me, because it has a volume of resin that goes into this, how is it going to go with bubbles? So a lot of it is cut out where there's a little bit of downtime in between where I am just allowing the bubbles to pop and heating it up without catching any flames directly onto the silicone mold. The colours I'm using for this one is the Colour Cottage and I use a little bit of gold leafing and a little bit of glitter and that's really about it so you'll see me working my way through it there's bits where I slow down so you can see what it is that I'm actually applying or what I'm doing or experimenting with and there's parts where I speed it up and uh, as I mentioned right at the beginning the thing that um, took me by surprise was the sheer volume of resin now if I would have done this differently what would I have done I would have spent more time on the top section and not the bottom section, but that's where I got lost in all the effects and the gooiness and beautifulness of the resin. I think I would have added more clear resin through because that's where you really got to appreciate some of the effects when you added them, especially the piping of the um, resin from the syringe. Um, that helped create a lot of depth and it sort of bled into the clear resin. I actually enjoyed when I added the flip cup because there's some amazing effects that come here. So maybe, maybe a unique thing would have been to do half one way, half another. I don't know, but I just enjoyed the process and I think that's what you should do. Uh, if you want to have a go at something like this, just let yourself go with the process, allow yourself to fail, learn along the way, because uh, that's when you learn some special effects and what you can do next time more purposeful. Um, so I'm Sharon, I'm digressing, I'm going to leave you to enjoy this video with some beautiful relaxing music, but you know the drill, thumbs up, subscribe, share and comments are always welcome and I will see you on the next video, but remember to have the most amazing week and until then, relax and enjoy and I'll see you on the next video, bye!
Hi, it's time to come in and have a little review of this. So overall, I would say this has been a fun experiment, but a lot of resin went into these. Uh, there's some things that won and there's something that failed. Now, unfortunately, this particular mold, sorry, you've seen all the hairs in there. Um, when it came time to take the resin out of it, it got stuck. Uh, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this mold. I mean, you could try again. I might use a different mold release spray. Uh, but there's hairs because it's got stuck all over the... We've had a, a labour of love trying to remove this. Um, Neil ended up having to go in there with heavy force to get it out. And what it meant is some of the resin is the mould is stuck to the edge here. Now, I've not given up. I'll use heat gun and I'll try and get it off. But you want it to just come away nicely. You don't want to have all these stress or hassles. But let's focus on the positive. This, I believe, was originally a mould for a cigarette holder, which I would never use it for a cigarette holder. I don't use it. But what I'm always looking for is ways to use some of the moulds that's out there and maybe a dish or um, a standalone piece. So this has had a, a large amount of resin in here, but it's actually so beautiful. Some of the effects I've tried injecting it, I tried layering it. The base I need to go and you can see just around, it's got that raised edge there and uh, it's got some nice glitter that I added there, but the base, cause it's gonna be down, you don't really need to see it. But the sides, if you look through, you've got these beautiful shapes of the mold and you can see where I've done different layers and injected it and you're getting some different effects. So this was just a fun piece. I just wanted to give it a go and see, can I make some kind of dish? out of this and lots of learns along the way but there is so much potential with a project like this so i definitely would recommend you get in a shiny mold use mold release spray and um sometimes it's worth spending sometimes it actually no it doesn't make a difference if you spend it on expensive molds or not but well it has got a nice shine so that's a positive i love the effects around the edge and I love the fact that when you apply the different layers, you get different effects there as well. Um, so, yeah. And I, this tin foil, it's not tin foil. Oh my gosh, Sharon, get your brain in. It's like the uh, gold leaf, but it's silver leaf. Um, I've just popped that in and checked, does it cling? And it's just added beautifully. Uh, you could go in there and create some specific effects. And I love um, how you've got the breakage of the different colours coming through and you can see the different layers. It was fun injecting um, the resin, uh, but I should have probably used that at the top part uh, because unfortunately, because I added more layers, you've got it all hidden in between here. So I would think about, don't worry too much about your base, worry about your edges and think if you added clear, like you did here, you get to see depth uh, coming through. So making sure you get the balance of clear and keep your detail worked as it's getting towards the top. But I suppose it's a play on your mind because you have to work in reverse when you're pouring it in here. Um, you're pouring it down up. So you've got to think about what's going to happen uh, backwards and up. So I'm not very good at explaining. I'm not too chicken here. I'm fighting a cold at the minute. I'm feeling pretty shocking. But uh, Neil's gone out with the two kids and they're going to be doing goal eight, which is climbing in trees and all these obstacle courses. So I thought... Let me use this time to catch up on a little bit of editing and recording. So ultimately what Sharon review, I would definitely do something like this again, but be mindful it does chew a lot of resin. I mean, that's a lot of resin there. It's, it's surprisingly not too heavy, but it's got weight to it. So it could make a beautiful gift or a beautiful ornament for around the house. Consider mold release spray and the mold you are using because you don't want to have the hassle of coming in here heating it up and pulling that off and don't waste too much time on your um resin towards the bottom part just the parts that you know you're going to see here but have some fun give it a go i've actually not had much issue with bubbles or anything like that that's just all within sort of the resin and, and that was something that really worried me applying it thinly and, and blowing it out so maybe doing it in layers uh, next time but um, it's kind of like a thumb in the middle for me. Uh, the idea, the project and some of the effects, thumbs up. The particular mould and how it released was definitely down. It took nearly a good hour um, and nearly cut itself <laughs> trying to get this mould out from it. But yeah, I'd love your thoughts. I'd love to know if you've worked on anything as bold as this when it comes to resin. 
um, when it comes to making uh, something different, uh, a different type of art. But anyway, I am digressing because I'm Sharon, but I wanted to make sure you got a, a good review of this one. And I will see you on the next video. And if you've had any more successes or you've got any suggestions, share them with the group. And I'll see you on the next experiment. Bye.